Right, testing, testing, are we live? Also, this microphone should be clipped up here. Are we live? Okay, we're live on Twitch. Are we live on YouTube? Uh, hmm? YouTube doesn't seem to think I'm live, which is weird. Okay, so I'm definitely live on YouTube. But Restream isn't getting the chat from YouTube, which is annoying. Oh well. Guess it can't be helped. So, today I'm just going to be playing some logic puzzles from online. Nothing overly spectacular. Guess I'll just start from the beginning of this list of puzzles that I need to be keeping up with. Hmm. Also, I should be should have linked my stream, shouldn't I? Uh, hang on, this is really annoying. Uh. Yeah, that should work. Right, sorry about that. Just had to advertise the stream in a puzzle chat. So let's get to solving. Hmm. All right, hold on a moment. Where's my where did the restream chat go? Here we go. Right, now to clean up, uh, oh wait, <laughs> oops. Hmm, that was easy.
Hmm. Now what? Up here. Right, of course, of course. Hmm, now what? Hmm, uh, I haven't made a mistake earlier, have I? Nope, no mistakes so far. Okay. Okay, so that's one solution. Now to prove that it's the only solution. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. Okay, puzzle solved. Next.
Yep, that works. Next. Oh wait, it's a phenomenon, never mind. I should probably have an early night's sleep tonight. Actually, that's not necessarily true. What site are these puzzles from? They're from a uh, Bachelor Seal's blog. That having been said, I also follow a bunch of other puzzle blogs, so all of these puzzles have a... Uh... So these puzzles come from a variety of sources. Yeah, so border block, uh, I think it's actually easier to explain border block if you just try to solve it for yourself. But the gist of border block, the rules of border block are that you have to divide the grid into regions with thick lines. Uh, regions can border themselves and each number, each region contains exactly one particular value of number, each particular value of number is contained within exactly one region and these dots represent all the spots where three or more borders meet at a point. Anyway, this is uh, a Tatabo Yokobo, which is quite nice. Hmm. I feel like I should be putting on some music while I solve these, but at the same time, I don't want to get copyright struck on YouTube or anything, so no music it is then, I guess. Ha 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 ha, yep. Cross the streams, except not quite. And now we move on to a shaka shaka. Oh hey, who's this dissolve the table person? Don't think I've seen... Oh wait, no, I have seen you before. What am I saying? <laughs>
Yeah, I think Pavel Curtis did do mm, a Shaka Shaka for his Enigmas series. For some reason, I mean, I just feel quite tired tonight. But no matter, it shouldn't affect my solving abilities too much. I guess I'll just be slower. Pavel Curtis did Taka... Batebel Yokobo? I don't think so. Then again, I haven't exactly kept up with, with his Enigmas series, so I'll probably need to do that at some point. I mean, I suppose I could just solve the old Enigmas series on stream, because the Enigmas series does have an award, does have a prize attached to it. Hmm, number 33? Really? Oh, so he did. Hmm. Spokes? Spokes! Spokes, really? Of, of all the puzzle genres, Spokes? No way. Fucking hell. Spokes? What the hell was he thinking? What next? Is he going to do a Sudoku next time? Or, if not a Sudoku, maybe a circular Sudoku.
Well, if he's willing to do a castle wall, why doesn't he just do another few more melons genres? This doesn't really make sense to me why he choose spokes over everything else. I don't even recall, did, did he do a pentominus at all or not? Hmm. Yes, Grant, you did invent Pentominus. Right, that's the shaka shaka done. Next puzzle is a mochi koda. Funny thing about mochi koda is that I all I don't actually know if there's any difference between mochi koda and mochi yoro. If anyone here knows, then please do enlighten me. Right, now we can get onto this one. It's a lit, and with hope, it'll be a good one. Hmm. It. This isn't necessarily true, is it? This is faux, yeah. Hmm. Now what? Yeah, we can't have one here. <sighs> okay, so suppose these two regions don't connect. Then this one has to connect down here. This one has to connect to this region. And these two would have to connect. So that leaves you with an impossibility here. Okay, so these two regions do actually connect. Oops. Now what? Suppose that these two... Hmm, no. Suppose that these two regions don't connect, 
This one goes like so. And this one needs to connect up to this one, so. Hmm. Oh wait, I already know this, don't I? Uh. So yes, this would be a solution. But it might not necessarily be unique, though considering this is Jamie, it quite possibly is. Okay, so let's see. So how best are we going to do this? Suppose that these two regions do not connect. That tells us we have this. And yeah, no, that's not possible. Yep, it's as we had before. So that one's done. Oh, all right. So, spiral galaxies? Really? Spiral galaxies? Um, okay. Why would GM Puzzles publish spiral galaxies? Has the whole puzzling world just gone to shit or something? Well, no matter, it is GM Puzzles, so hopefully they'll put some sort of good logical steps into it. I hope. Hmm. A whole week of them. That doesn't sound so good. This one maps to here, that one to here. There we go, that's the that's that one solved. Number of cells in each connected group between bold lines. Okay, so we have Four one two one two two one one two 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 one two five.
theme logical. Well, I mean, theme logical doesn't really tell us that much, does it? Because, you know, every single one of these puzzles is supposed to be logical. It's not like you can have one of these puzzles with a theme illogical, can you? Actually, that might make for a good April Fool's gag. Theme Anurag. Oh dear. Right, so this one can't be part of this. Yeah, so it has to be part of this one. So it's not part of this. So that's fine. This one's not part of this one, could be part of both this or this, though it looks like. Or could it? No, it can't be part of this one. Hang on, I haven't made an error, have I? Wait, why did I think it couldn't be part of that one? Oops. Right, better start the puzzle again. Anurag, Sahe, Grant Fikes, and Jack Lance are wearing a red, yellow, and blue hat in some order. Deduce who's wearing what from the clues. Grant isn't wearing a red hat, and neither Jack Lance nor the author of this puzzle is wearing a yellow hat. Well, keep keeping in line with Anurag Sahe's puzzles, clearly that puzzle has multiple solutions. Ah, but see, the very fact that Grant or Jack could also be the author means that the puzzle has multiple solutions anyway, so clearly Anurag's the author.
Here we go, that works. Two, one, three, three. Eight, one. Two, one, two, two, two. Solve. Right, now to get onto one of Anurag's actual puzzles. Find a snake in the grid whose head and tail are given. The snake moves horizontally and vertically and never touches itself, not even diagonally. All clues are all given clues are snake segments, clues encoded direction. The immediate preceding A the What? What? Sorry, is anyone else able to make any sort, any sort of heads or tails of this particular puzzle's rules? Actually, it's a snake. It should be in red. Blues encode the direction the immediately preceding snake segment is in. What? Oh wait, those two are supposed to be head and tail. Okay, that helps not very much at all, but fine, I guess. One to four stand for north, east, south, west, and south in some order. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so suppose that the snake is moving from that this is the snake's tail. This is the snake. Hang on. Okay, suppose that the snake is moving from here to here, then. Eh? Yeah, so suppose it's moving from here to here, then we have that three encodes the cell to its right, so one needs to encode the cell above it. Mm -hmm. The two and four encode the cells to the left and the below them in some order. And I think we've stumbled upon a contradiction, haven't we? No, we haven't, actually. No, we haven't. Right, so this is one possible solution. 
if I'm reading these rules correctly. I think there's a contradiction if the snake moves from top to bottom. Very well, let's try that. Suppose the snake moves from this here to here instead, then one indicates the segment to its left. So we have this. So far so good, I guess. Three can't encode the segment to its left, so it needs to encode the segment above it. So four in, yeah, that is a contradiction. Well spotted, Grant. So at least this one by Anurag Sahe has a unique solution. <sighs> right, now, does anyone want any, does anyone have any requests for what puzzle I should do next? And also, is the stream lagging at all? Right, if nobody has any requests, I guess I'll just root through my backlog folder and see if there's anything in here that might be of interest. Um... Hmm. Maybe one of Pavel's older puzzles, something. Oh, mm. Puzzles? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Guess I'll just start off with Enigma 1 or something, right? Walk through? I don't want to walk through. Please. Right, so what is this? Each region should contain all of the letters from one of the three words Ada's Grand or Reopening. Right. Hmm. All right, well, let's see. This A can't be part of Ada's or reopening, so it's 
Do number 17 next. Alright, which one's number 17 then? No, wait, no, that's 16. Oh, right, that one, yeah. No, I'm, I'm just going to skip that one. So this one can't be part of Ada's or reopening, so, it's cl so it must be part of Grand. So, if it's part of Grand, it can't involve this P, and it can't involve either of these two A's either, or that E. But it's not possible, but I don't think I can say much else. Hmm. This one needs to be part hound. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, any double no wait shit. N double N is a possibility, as is double E. Not double G though. So, oh, this N has to be part of reopening. So, reopening is a nine letter word. So, that's a giant space for me to search. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to be breaking into this. Also, I note there's just a random dragon down here. What about the other unique letters? What? E, O, and I. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose that is, a, is somewhere I could start. So, uh, let's see. That I needs to be... Ah, S. S. That's where we, we're supposed to start, isn't it? Yes. That's where we start. Okay. Yeah, that S has way too many choices, as does this one. So, I should be able to deduce this much. So this one's part of the word grand. So this one's part of reopening, which means it needs to use this O, I'm guessing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh? Hang on. Huh? I may have screwed up here. That... Hmm. Yeah, I think I've screwed up here somewhere. As it is now, this P can't reach an O.
Hmm? Alright, so I guess I'll do that one afterwards. But yeah, it looks like I've uh, already broken the puzzle. Oh, this is bad. Right. Yeah, so this has to be part of grand. It can't have that. So we have this. Reopening his two E's, doesn't it? Yep, I can't count. There's really no other explanation there, I just can't count. Reopening doesn't have an A, so we can deduce this much. Reopening doesn't have two R's. This needs a second N. Yeah, that's the only way for that S to collect two A's. Reopening doesn't have two R's, so we do this. Grand. There, did I already take all of the Adas here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Shouldn't there be a seventh one? Six, seven. Ah, no, I've already taken all of the Adas. Now, uh, the other ones, we have Grand and Reopening. Hmm. Okay, so how should I want to do this? I should probably consider 
the letters A and D and E, O, P and I. This one's missing an O, E, and N, if my count is correct. This one's not missing P or G, it goes I, and that's that. This A and this D are together. Four, one, two, three. So that leaves with us with E and P in this one, I think. Yeah. This one also has just E and P left, so we know this. That one's got G and O, meaning it's part of reopening. In, and it doesn't contain this one, so it contains this R. Oh, and it doesn't contain D, of course. Joke's on you, Bicket. I found the word dragon earlier. And then I ignored it because this isn't a word search. Right, so I've finally done that. Now for the extraction. Mm hmm. Yes, sum up the value of all of the filled bits. Translate that sum into a letter. Read the letters region by region, left to right, and top to bottom. Okay. Good God. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do the extraction. It's just way too annoying. So what is this? A uh, country road? Yep, it's a country road, all right. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, snipping tool. Okay, so this is just a country road, which is not, which shouldn't be too difficult. At least not for someone of my caliber. Oh, do go on, Grant. Make as many off-color jokes as you need. Ugh, that's terrible, Grant.
Anyway, this one and this one are part of the same region, so we know this and also this. And so we can deduce this. These two would end up linking. So we need this. This one links to here, so we must this. We also have this. Now I'm solving it using a mouse because my tablet right now, the pen is still broken and I've just not had it replaced yet. So, Bicket, just, just for now, ignore all of the black and white dots. They're just there for the extraction. And I'm not going to do the extraction because that would be boring. But, actually, tell you what, I'll just open up Twitch for now. And I'll just paste in the link. There we go, that's the link, and I'll cross off Twitch because that would take up bandwidth and slow down the stream, which nobody wants. And we're done. Next. I think this is a Nurikabe. Eh, don't worry, Bicket, it comes with practice. Something which I'm not entirely sure you've been doing. Okay. How long have I been doing logic puzzles? Since... By now, probably a good seven years. Hmm. Right, now how do we proceed with this one? Eight. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Bicket, of course you have. Of course you have.
Well, yeah, Skog, it's because I've had ju I've just had so much practice. I've basically been doing them daily for the past seven or so years now. Uh, what else? Ah. Still, though, I, I actually thought I was amongst, I was still among the slower people in the community. Quite interesting that I'm ahead of you. Uh, four, four, that is just one. Four. Right, that's done. Mm, fair enough, Skog, but well. Okay, what the hell is this? But all the given words and phrase Words and phrases? Oh right, it's a seeking spell. Fair enough. Fair enough. And of course, ignore symbols when solving. That reminds me, Skog. I don't recall if you've solved my, uh, if you've solved my hunt puzzle, number one on my blog. I probably should have waited until I picked up my replacement pen before I did this. Writing this with a mouse is just annoying. Anyway. L, yeah, D, A, R, L, hmm. Nine down. Ocean. Right, now how the hell are we supposed to do the rest of this? And down is date night. D A T E N I G D E. Okay, so if this is D A and T goes down here, then we have D A T E N I, and then we can't fit in cherub, can we? No. Sixteen across sixteen left cherub is now down. We also have date n from ten down. 
perfume and devotions fill up these two spaces so these are r and v in some order that leaves us with affection meaning the e is here now wherever c goes here that leaves us with t up here if c goes here that still leaves us with t up here and if i isn't here then we have t i yes so E R F is impossible or R F is also impossible. That leaves us with R up here. So these are D and I in some order. Hmm. Nothing else seems to use this G though. I mean it's probably N-I-G-H-T but I can't say anything for certain can I? And that serenade is probably... Hang on. What did I say these were? D and I. Yeah that's N-A-D. Okay. That's good. Okay. Right, I'm just going to do a quick bifurcation because I don't seem to be able to hold this in my head for whatever reason. Suppose that we had, what is it? Okay, so suppose that we had I here, so that we have L, B, L, E, and then we can't solve it. So hmm, that means I is here, D e is here. Now, if knight doesn't actually connect this way then we have g mm, h could be either here or here that leaves us with L e over here and stuff gets annoying Oh wait, that... Okay, so we know that either way there has to be an H here. That's possibly useful information.
And of course, we have one of Grant's favorite words, dinner. So we know that the DL has to connect up like this. Now, actually, we already have the whole word date night filled in, so we sh could, should just be able to cross that off. Okay, now devotion and affection are each missing an N somewhere here or here. Hmm. Right, one of these is O and the other one is E. If it's V-A-L-E, then this one is both L and N, so, yep. Or if it's V-A-L-E, then we would have to have both L and N next to this one. Well, let's try that then. Oops, uh, that sh Right, so if that's still L I L I, then we have E N E I N E. So you can't fit dinner in, or you have N T and uh, L I G H. So you can't fit dinner in either. So that tells us. And that we have D A L and then whatever the hell happens next, who knows?
Ah, no, suppose we have E over here, then L, O, mm. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Right, I'm going to use the toilet. Uh, right, I'm back. So, oh yes, these have to be I and O in some order. Suppose that it's O here, then that gives you O, W. Okay, uh, maybe I should consider doing it here, yeah. If that's O here, that gives I here. Oh wait, no, it doesn't have to be I and O, because Darling might poke up here. Hmm. Okay, right. I guess I'm going to have to assume this. So, suppose that's O here, and uh, I should be doing that in dark red, shouldn't I? Okay, so that gives duo G R U E. Now, this can't be L O V, so it has to be either L O V E, in which case. This would be V-A-L-E-N, and this would be handle, and then everything breaks. So, hmm. 
we have uh hang on wait seriously okay t r u e so what that gives us l here o here l e l i and then uh yeah that breaks that so we therefore know uh O E brilliant U E L O B E We also have true love and duo right. That also gives us Valentine and dinner. Okay, that's all well and good, but now how do we proceed? Well, I think we should be able to proceed now by con it, by supposing a contradiction that darling is up here yep it's not up there so it actually has to go down d-a-r-l these are i and o in some order so n is here and that allows us to cross off Devotion and affection. Well, that leaves us with I N G for darling or O W E for flowers. Yes. Hmm. Ooh, can we actually stuff sweetheart into this one? E. E can't be here. But then the only things we can connect to this are that R and we have E E T H E. ART actually that does work doesn't it hmm. yeah I think that might actually be what happens in the actual solution oh wait no because if we do this yeah we can't stuff perfume in there so that leaves us with O here I here Darling. Sweetheart can only exit this region with an A or an R. And it can't use that R. I don't think it can use this R because we have five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So it has to use that A. Leaving us with E H E E. Yeah. And that also takes care of cute.
That leaves us with caress, flowers, O W E R. Caress and perfume. There we go. Right now, should I do puzzle number five? Ah, it's a slalom. I'll easily take care of this one. What was the extraction mechanism? Mm hmm. Hmm, fair enough. Kapow? Is there something wrong with the audio on my stream? Mm. All right, then. Ah, fair enough. Now, is it possible for this gate to be the one? Hang on. This end can't connect to this or this. So it connects either here or here or goes out there. Doesn't help us very much. One, two, three, that one's four. All right, so this is 23, and that one was 21. Tells us this. Three, four, hmm. Oh wait, no, that might actually be the case. Or might it? Hmm. One, two, three, that leaves us fourth one here by parity. Two, three. Fourth one here leaves us with nothing here by parity. This one goes up here, this one here. Hmm. One, two. So there's a fourth one that goes in here, right? Yeah.
four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen is possible. Twelve. 16, 15, 14. So we have one more gate between these two. 17, 18. And that's that puzzle done. Right, is this an Akari? Yep, it's an Akari. Okay. By the way, I don't know if you've not if you've noticed, but the letters in but the letters in the grid here actually form a rather odd text. When biographies were men, these penguins sang a sad tune of hot meows, and through repenting, abased many bountiful mercs, bombarded each eager eagle, and tried to show how low a snowed in convict must fall ask every struggling lady to trek what These letters being in the grid are honestly making it quite annoying.
Right, that's that one done. Next. Actually, I think I'll just do this one first. Don't know if Grant's still watching though. I guess I could just check the list of viewers. Yeah, Grant isn't watching anymore, which is a bit of a bit of a shame, but oh well. Hmm, right, I think I'm going to go to bed after this one. Just quite tired.
Right, there we go. Right then, that's that puzzle done. Now to go to bed, I guess. Good night.